Hello there. Uh, this is a parts caster that I built probably 10 years ago. I just want to kind of show you some of my guitars and an examples of what they sound like, that kind of deal. And uh, this is the guitar that started me on the path to building my own guitars from Rough Lumber. Uh, the reason being, I built this guitar and one before it uh, much cheaper from used parts. And the guitars were so good that they were just as good as anything that I'd ever played, including my Gibson Les Paul. And so, uh, for me, I actually sold the Les Paul so that I could buy some PA gear and stuff like that. But for me, uh, this guitar plays and sounds every bit as good as my Les Paul or any other guitar ever did that I ever played. And I realized that if I could learn how to build them and I spent 15 years uh, learning how to work on my own guitars and set them up and repair them and stuff like that because I could not afford to pay somebody else to do it uh, and I knew how the guitars went together I knew uh, how to set them up I knew how to repair them and I, the next step was uh, doing something that I always wanted to do anyway and that is build my own and so this pushed me into, if you look on my site, there's a, on my YouTube channel here, there's a playlist of handcrafted guitars. And I've got, I think, two guitars and a bass up now. And all three of those I built with my own hands from lumber. Uh, no parts, pre-made parts or anything like that. Uh, cut the fret slots, hammered the frets in, everything. And so uh, and this guitar was a catalyst to that. Uh, it made me want to do that. It made me to understand that I could. And uh, it's just a fabulous guitar. Uh, really psyched to own it. Every time I hold it and every time I look at it, every time I play it, I realize just how wonderful this guitar is. Now, this guitar has got some scratches and, and stuff like that because I don't baby my instruments. If I gig with them, if I play with them, they get the marks they get. Now, I, I, I don't, I'm not... Uh, careless with them but I am kind of clumsy sometimes and they're gonna get a little bit of wear that's the deal you won't probably see it on the camera there are scratches and stuff on this instrument but I, I started with a mighty might neck and one of the Stuart McDonald flame top s I think is what they call it bodies I don't even know if they sell these anymore they probably have got some kind of vintage kind of thing they're selling now that's uh, half again the price of these but uh, but it's a swamp ash body with a flame maple veneer on the top and it's of course this is the cherry burst uh, I think this guitar probably weighs about eight pounds so it's not super light but it's not super heavy it's kind of a mid-range guitar as a matter of fact I like a little weight on a guitar I think they resonate better but that's personal opinion I don't have any scientific evidence of it but I like a bit heavier guitar uh, rosewood neck, uh, uh, rosewood fretboard with 22 uh, standard frets in it, a bone nut, I put the nut in, uh, these came I think without a nut, and, or they came with a plastic nut, I can't remember, it was so long ago, uh, and uh, it's a satin finish on the neck, back of the neck and headstock, which makes the thing play really well, but if you look, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's discoloration and stuff on the back of that. And that's from years of playing this instrument and my hands rubbing that satin finish till it turned to a kind of a semi-gloss kind of thing. And, and I also took and uh, rounded the edges of the fretboard uh, when I did when I did set up and stuff like that. Uh, so that it was nice and comfortable and smooth, that kind of deal. Uh, One-way rod, of course. Uh, the pickguard is torqued. I put the white knobs and white switch uh, tip on there. Uh, yeah, some people might say, well, why did you do that when you have black pickups? I just, I like that white. It's easy for me to see. Uh, and re reach down if, it, if I'm on a dark stage or anything like that I can see those they're white they're easy for my old eyes to see so but I have a, a Fender or I'm sorry I do uh, Seymour Duncan 
JB4, I think it's what it's called, in the bridge. And a Seymour Duncan Jazz in the neck. Three-way CRL uh, switch. Alpha pots. Uh, I put a tort cover on the back of it and shallow locking uh, strap locks, which I'm not using right now. I just have a, a standard strap and Grover uh, tuners with the uh, Fender American series style string trees on it. Fantastic guitar. Let's see how she sounds a bit. That's the middle position, which I prefer. Both pickups are active. Here's the uh, bridge. Okay, and then the neck. Fabulous tones. I, by the way, I'm playing out of a, a PV-112 Bandit. It's just the amp. 112 Bandit. Sorry, I'm talking too fast. It's just the amp with a bit with a, uh, reverb on about, let's see. Oh, nine. Thank you. 